Hi guys, I have uh, two loaves of soap today that I'll be cutting. Uh, the first soap here, I don't have a name for it yet, but it has a nice spring, summery type fruity floral scent. And um, I'll put a description below for it. And the second batch, this is actually the first batch that I made, but it is not firm enough to cut yet. But this one is a 100% um, essential oil blend. This soap is natural. Um, I only use essential oils and clays and things to color it and scent it. So, um, I, I don't know. This soap has me a little nervous right now. I made it 24 hours ago almost, and it didn't start heating up until like in the wee hours of the morning sometime. I came out and checked it around two and it still hadn't started warming up. Now it is a little warm but it's it's quite soft and I don't work with um, all essential oil blends often so I don't know if that has anything to do with it. Um, I'm not sure. I don't know about this one yet. I don't know what I did wrong, if I did anything wrong or if this is just the nature of uh, essential oils. I did discount the water not by a whole lot, maybe about an ounce. It has um, green, is it zeolite clay in it? Has some oxide in it. Even has a little bit of. Uh, oh man, I can't even think what it's called. <sighs> even has a little bit of. Um, you can't see that bentonite clay in it. So I thought. I don't know. I thought that the the water discount, even the clays in it, would have helped it firm up quicker. It's still warm and it's still a little soft, but at least it did finally start to warm up. So I didn't want it to go through a gel, but man, it makes me nervous when soaps don't don't get warm. I'm afraid of some sort of separation, but we'll see about this one a little bit later. So I'm going to go ahead and take this one off and um, set the camera up and cut it up and see what's inside. All right, I'll be right back. So this soap was a whole lot easier to unmold this time around. Um, I finally figured out how to use this little thing without, you know, making everything bump all over the place. And um, also, before I poured the soap, I used some of the base oils to lubricate all of the um, the inserts and things before putting them in, and it just slid right off this morning. Everything just slid right out, so that was really good. Me and my mold are getting along just fine now. So any flaws on the soap are strictly my fault. The mold was really fine this time. So for this I did a yellow base and did an in-pot swirl with a hot pink. I'm really trying to keep it nice and bright, keep all the soaps bright for spring and summer. I'm trying to avoid as little brown and dark colors as possible. So I don't think I'll be too many surprises with the swirl because it's the end pot. So. And I did a cocoa line in the center. That was supposed to be a straight line, but I don't know, I don't mind the I'm using it a little bit. I decreased the size of my batch by about 10 ounces because those other bars, they were just ridiculous. Those are so huge. Um, I think they were, each one was over 6 ounces when I cut them. So they'll probably cure down to just over 5. But that was just, that's way too big. In my opinion. That's, that's huge. Too huge for me. So... I brought the recipe down a little bit. So these bars should cure out somewhere between 4.5 and 5 ounces. And they'll fit into my shrink wrap, so that's good. This is a really nice scent. Um, I really can't decide which I smell more between the jasmine and the pineapple. It just keeps going back and forth. Like you could sniff it and you'll smell pineapple. You could sniff it and you smell jasmine. Really nice scent. I 
And these are also topped with um, like iridescent pixie dust, I guess, and a little bit of glitter, iridescent glitter. And for those who um, kind of like don't like mica and all that kind of stuff on top of your soaps, it's not going to affect it once you um, take your shower. The first shower, first time you use the bar, all of that washes right off. Not just on my soap, any, you know, soap that I've used from other soap makers. As soon as you get that bar wet, all of that glittery stuff comes right off. It's just for decoration. Just for decoration. Let me see. Now right now these bars are just over five ounces. That's a little bit better. I might add an, an additional five ounces to my batch. Take it up to maybe 65 ounces of oil. And I'll probably be a little bit more balanced. So, thank you so much everybody for watching. And hopefully I'll be back later with my little batch over there. And um, have a great day everyone. Bye-bye.